Now it's time to create a riddle hunt. Start off by assigning the hunt to one of your events or leave it unassigned if this is just a quick hunt you want to create without setting up an event. Choose if you want the hunt to be indoors, outdoors, or a combination of locations. Pick the average age of the participants and how many clues you would like to have in the hunt. The more clues in the hunt, the longer it will last. If you would like to set an end location, such as a special place you have hidden presence, you can specify one. Then if you would like to choose something for the players to read before the hunt begins, you can use one of our preset statements or make one of your own. You can do the same thing for the final location where the hunt's going to end. Then be sure to select a background image for the clues, and then proceed to step two. In step two, click the button to generate a riddle hunt. You can reorder objects if you would like by dragging and dropping them. To modify a hunt object, you can delete it with the red X, get a new replacement item with the green redo icon, or click the object and manually change it using the modify hunt object box on the right. If you click items in the hunt, you can see the currently selected riddle for that object and choose a new one if you would like. Scrolling down, you can also add an object to the hunt manually or create your own riddle for the object if you're not happy with the selection of riddles in our current database. If you choose to add an object to the hunt, you can add an object from your current inventory or checking the show all objects box, you can choose one from all the inventory items in the database even if it's not in your inventory. If you choose to create a new object, as you type, other objects will appear that have the letters you've typed in them so you don't duplicate objects unnecessarily. If you click one of the items in this list, it will be added to your hunt. Try to think of other names that might be similar if the item you want doesn't appear to be on the list right away. For example, instead of waste paper basket, try garbage can. Once you're done crafting your hunt, decide if you want to print a master list sheet so you have a cheat sheet of the hunt in case your players get stuck. This is especially helpful when you make multiple hunts for teams and the sheet will show the background picture on it so you can keep track of each team's clues separately. Proceed to extras if you would like to add other fun activities to the hunt. In this section, you can add activities like a physical activity, charades, icebreaker questions, and other fun things to do to, to the bottom of each of the clue cards. You can choose to put these on some or all of the cards, and you can mix it up as much as you want. Then you're ready to print the hunt and create another hunt for another team or move on to creating thank you cards.